formatting is Emily's style. Emily formatting requires a margin of one inch on each side of your document. This is normally standard and the default option for Microsoft Word 2010 documents, but we can check it by choosing page layout in your banner and then choosing margins. Aha! Uh -huh. This document uses the normal setting, a margin of one inch on each side. Perfect for MLA. Second, MLA documents require certain fonts and certain sizes for their essays. The exact fonts and sizes accepted by your teacher may vary. However, I'm going to show you how to format your papers using Times New Roman font, double spacing, and the 12 point size. This is pretty standard. The first thing I do is I highlight every single word in my essay when I'm done typing it. It's important to do this because most Microsoft Word documents default options are not Times New Roman, are not double space, and are not necessarily 12 point font. So after I highlight everything, I choose Home on my banner. I change the font from Calibre to Times New Roman. I, ch I change the size to 12 point. And then I change the spacing of my document to double spaced. If you notice, there is a space between the paragraphs in the essay. We need to alter this for two reasons. First, the first line of each paragraph in your essay should be indented by 0 0.5 inches. Boom. Again, to change this from the default options, we need to highlight everything. Next, we can choose paragraph in the Microsoft Word banner. By clicking this little box with an arrow, it brings out the window with a bunch of different options for indents and spacing, as well as line and page breaks. The first thing I like to do is I like to remove the spaces in between the paragraphs. I do this by looking at spacing right here. And instead of having auto, I want to make sure that in both the before and after boxes, we have a spacing of zero. I can also double check here that my line spacing is double, which is perfect for MLA. Next, when it comes to indentation, here I want to make sure that my indentation occurs on the first line by 0 0.5 inches. You can do this manually by tabbing the first line of each paragraph, or you can do it here in the paragraph window. But I want to make sure that the first line of each of my paragraphs is indented by 0 0.5 inches. When, I, when I'm finished, I hit OK and I move on. Now, my paper has the correct margins, it has the correct size, an acceptable font, and the correct spacing. I'm ready to move on.